very much a ring field. That's nicely hit through point. That's a brilliant stroke. And that is a stunning way to get off the mark for Coley. Beautiful timing. Just a sweet sound off the bat. James Faulkner there just going too wide. A bit of a loosener for him. I think you'll find as time goes on, James Faulkner will take the pace off the ball. That's his go-to. Just thinking what a pity it was that down he comes, that'll be another boundary. Coley has split the fieldsman behind point. Well, it's only a couple of years ago that a succession of one-day games in India were huge run chases. 360 certainly won a game in a run chase. It was a remarkable series between uh, Australia and India. And there was certainly a, 30, a 330, and one of the big run chases happened. Wow, that has been hit a little bit short, a little bit wide. Virat, Virat cannot stop himself. I mean, he just he just loves it. It fires him up, I think. I do think there are players who, who deliberately pick a fight. Funny enough, I, I suspect Shane Warne was one. Deliberately pick a fight, and it just gets them on edge and makes them play better. <laughs> It's on again at Monica. Changes it up. He wants more of him. Coley gets more of Faulkner. Here's a battle. Well, two from two is one. And that will fire up James Faulkner as well. 18 off nine balls. That's a great shot, that. Advanced down the wicket, used his feet. Slapped over cover. Yeah, that's 18 off Faulkner's nine balls he's bowled to him. So, uh, at the moment, the bat is winning. He's just so clever with the way he picks out the area of the field. As much as he can go that way, he could have flicked that to the onside as well. He's in really good touch. Wonderful footwork. And yes, the control of the blade there, clear. It's just... It's going very hard. As Mitchell Marsh. It's a chance with the ball. That runs fine. It's short, wide, outside leg stump. And there'll be another boundary. So, Coley's on a roll here. Australia have got to somehow stop him. Good effort there from big John Wayne Hastings. Cross seamer from Mitchell Marsh, dug it in short. Just helped on the way there from Brad Coley. The top edge with double glove. Brett, why would he go first ball cross seam? Well, I think maybe seeing if there's something in the wicket. Even though he favours the offside. Well, that's hammered. We we're talking about Glenn Maxwell earlier today, how he's got that ability to open the face of the bat, <coughs> slash the ball anywhere from sort of cover to almost third man. Well, that's a similar shot right there. Letting the ball come on and using the wrists. Absolutely intentional, that shot. VVS talking about the impact that Darwin can play with. What about this? 48 from 33 for impact. That's in the gap as well. He's back for two, and that's a 50. A 34 ball 50. It's a fantastic half century from Virat Kohli, and he knows he cannot be satisfied with this effort as yet. He, along with Rohit Sharma, had a wonderful series so far. Got 91 at Perth, got a 50 at the gap, a brilliant 100 at MCG, and now all. There's live. Oh, go, go, gone, just gone, just gone always. Oh, that had some purpose in it. This is a battle between these two, and Coley is winning it by far at the moment. Faulkner desperately wants the wicket, but that has been smashed. This is personal now, isn't it, between these two? Dropped as well. him 
Mid on and mid off, still up. Where does and at other places, Adelaide, of course. Oh, he's given it another crunch. Some of this batting is dynamic, and well, you don't uh, you don't blink, do you? Otherwise, you miss something. He's got no right in the ball there from where it pitched, and using his feet, and it was like almost like a duck hook in golf. So hit with the spin and a flick of the wrist. It does suit the batsman. Well, he's picked his spot. That was uh, very well thought through by Coley. He's been looking into that area with the lion back into the attack and body round the wicket at the middle of leg and leg. Just had to get it over mid wicket's head, and that would be quite enough with his quick outfield. Well, so shot he played a couple of hours ago, that was a bit more uppish. That's magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. That's walking and a medium fast bowler, giving yourself a little bit of room and then easing your hands through the line of the ball. And those last two deliveries have been the problem that both sides have had with their bowling. It's not untidy, but it just lacks a bit of pace and intimidation. So a batsman can run at you like that, hit through the line, which is a terrific cricket shot. But if you drop it in short, as Hastings did to the previous border, he's had. And he goes to 100. He hasn't got every piece of that. But he's got it up and over and well enough. Back-to-back -back hundreds for Brad Coley. And the Indians at the ground and watching right around the world will absolutely love it too. And, and, and refusing to be dictated to, even on 99. Steve Smith put all the field up. They had seven guys inside the circle. He said, all right, you're going to do that to me. I'm going over the top. I'm not going to try and work one through and run it down to finally. I'm going over the top. That's how good I am.